All right, we're back with some more Divinity Original Sin. This is the Enhanced Edition. Because um, there's no point in doing the original anymore because nobody wants to play it. But we're going to do, uh, uh, in this video, opening up. So what we're going to talk about in this video is all the cities uh, in the, uh, the world of Divinity Original Sin and how to open up the places. Okay, so opening up uh, Cyseal... You just walk into the town. Okay, so we're not going to do that one. Uh, Silver Glen, you can open up. 1A, 1B. Let's see what this is. Uh, you can open up Silver Glen uh, as soon as you have Walking Shadows. Okay, so uh, you should start the game with Walking Shadows. Okay, as we've. Uh, as per. My guide. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the north of town. Salutation. You don't look like you're quite ready to. I sincerely. And this guy's like, "Whoa, you're really low level," and I'm like, "I just don't care." You're gonna run north. And I think I turned the wrong direction here. You're supposed to head right up this way. I think I head north here, or head head this direction for a little bit here, but checking out my grenades. Checking out my grenades. I'm not paying attention. Because I really want walk it in shadows down here in that bottom bar. And then I head the wrong direction. Uh, embarrassing. And then I, you know, realize, oh, that was dumb. So then I head back in the right direction. You know you're headed the right direction because you're going to run into this will windmill. Right? It's a uh, mill here, not windmill. Water mill. Um, talk to him. Get a will. This is also good because this, you, this information alone um, that you get from these two is enough to actually end a quest with that uh, head legionnaire um, lady sitting in front of the uh, uh, quartermaster and kitchen area. You get a quest from her to go figure out what happened up here. Anyway, so this is where it gets tricky. So there's not a fight, not even a single fight here. You just move your move your guy up here. You can visit this. I'm gonna cast range, so, so I, I have less to worry about here. You don't even have to do this. There is a path you can take. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna cast visible. You're walking shadows. You're gonna take a run for it. You're not gonna fight these guys because you can do this as soon as you enter Sight Seal. So you can be level two, level three, uh, level four. It doesn't matter. All you need is walk in shadows, which you should have at creation. You come over here. And your walk in shadows is not gonna make it. It's not gonna make it. It's gonna run out about here. Go hide in this bush right here. Just sneak. Okay. The sneak. And we're just gonna chill here. See, you, you blend in perfectly with the surroundings. It looks good. But what are you doing? Obviously waiting for Walking Shadows to come back. When Walking Shadows comes back, what are you gonna do? You're gonna use it again, run past that oof. And continue on your merry way. You look, but you cannot see. All right, awesome stuff. Just run right past him. Who cares? You're gonna get a star stone, which is good for some experience. Pick that up. Why not? And here you go. I really. I was gonna kill that rabbit. You cruel, cruel man. Alright, then use your pyramid. Hey, we're all together. Time to move on. So I suppose you have to at least get far enough inside seal. Uh, to get the pyramids as well, to make that easy. Hail so source hunt. It surrounds pick up us your here. very first blood like an invisible which is not mist. Very hard. Takes cat's eyes yeah. to see it creep. Oh, Arhu again, believe. showing you that you could get midnight oil from him at this point. Poor man. Again. It seems he was eaten his, uh, by a beast. 
Well, stock will regenerate again. So here we go. We're just gonna march straight up here to the north. Don't head straight to the west. You, you head straight to the west. You head straight to the east. Tail. They're gonna run into fights. So just head north, and then head. In the next west. west. We have traded the and here for you go. Sheesh. But I said. You're now in Silver Glen. Yay! So you've just opened up Silver Glen. So within the first part of the game, you open up Silver Glen. Why is this important? How well, Silver Glen offers some really good experience right off the bat. Uh, Silver Glen uh, offers a bunch of uh, empty bottles. Why are empty bottles important? Because empty bottles uh, can't really be bought in stores. Uh, and empty bottles are what uh, enable you to build firestorm grenades, and firestorm grenades are the most important or most uh, effective uh, between levels one to ten. So, you you want to do so this is a great little fire here. Why? Because it forms a more mobile kitchen in your inventory. So hey, you open up this area, you get a free uh, mobile kitchen right off the bat. You get your uh, waypoint shrine right here, which is what you're going to use when you come here to travel to travel to. Uh, uh, sell and buy stuff. Now that you've opened this up, every time you level up, every time you level up, just come here, visit the stores, and leave. Visit the stores and leave. So I'll open up Silver Glen 1B. Let's see what is going on here. No idea what's happening with 1B. Let's see here. Ah, yes. So, as soon Don't as you can, like that. Uh, as soon as you can, this is just uh, further opening up sites to you, okay? As soon as you can, as soon as you hit level 8, as soon as you hit level 9, as soon as you hit level 10, anytime in that, in that zone. So, you're hitting your, um... Oh, I'm sorry. You're hitting your... Oh, yeah, you're, you're uh, buying stuff. So, you're hitting your, your rounds, you're buying gear. What do you say? What you want to do is you want to help Bajor right, here. Are. You want to help him get to the city. Now, in order to do that, you have to have Bloodstone, give it to the animal, heal it. Uh, as soon as you get levels 8, you know, I think I've done this at level 8, and it's relatively safe. Um, you want to get this guy in the city. The reason is this guy is going to sell some of your best gear the whole game. Sell your best gear the whole game. So you wanna, you're, you're really going to want this guy there. At the very least, you're going to want this guy there post-level 10. Okay, post level 10. Because the merchants in, in Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition are terrible. Terrible. In uh, Divinity Original Sin in, uh, Original versus... Oh, versus EE. So the original... The, the shops were much better. Much better. Bottom. Much better gear. Much more chance to get... Uh, in the original is gold gear. You don't have that. You do not have that EE. So this guy is uber valuable to, to make sure he gets to the village. You can set these places on fire. This is useful. Oil this. Uh, you can even oil this. This is where they appear when they attack the caravan. Uh, and at this point in time, this is just slaughter. This needs to slow them down. You have midnight oil. You have your your boulder bashes, you have your grenades. This is pretty straightforward burn fest. Just burn these people alive. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna zoom ahead. There's nothing difficult about this you battle. You cannot escape it's, the noxious fumes. Just shift fire grenades, toxic grenades, you know, your, your very standard level of fighting. Very standard level of fight. There's nothing you, I mean as you can see, I'm not even taking a point of damage. Ah, uh, you know, poor Alfie here took a shot. Still, still not a you single point damage. Alfie's still there. And that's it. Ba bada beam, bada boom. You might want to cast rain right away when it's done, just to make sure you, they don't burn themselves to death walking through it. Which, that would be so sad. There's also a chest uh, hidden over here. Not up here. Right down in here. So you round this corner, there's a chest right here, which I don't know if I get in the video. But, uh... Yes, I do. Okay, so there it is. So I get the chest right there. See? There it is. So here's your chest. You want to come around the corner and grab this chest here. Buried here. It's not even locked. Just grab it. And, um... 
make your way into town. Now, once you've, it. Once oh, you've got to this crew in here, Silver Glen is completely opened up. So there's nothing really else unique you can open up in Silver Glen. Uh, you've done it, okay? Now that's how you open up Silver Glen. This is how you open up the best shop in Silver Glen. This can be done at level um, uh, two to four, as soon as you get your first Bloodstone, which should be, you know, two to four. Um, this is how you open up the best shop. Open up the Goblin Village. And what you're going to do here... Okay, you're going to have to, back there, uh, pass a, a speech check with uh, the Immaculates, which you don't have to be a specific level for. So there's no specific level for that. Uh, and so you could still be level 2, level 4, uh, technically, um, to get to this point in time. Okay? Um, but what stops you from getting to the Goblin Village is the Spider Queen here. Um, the Spider Queen, now you could be tricky... Uh, but it's very risky, very risky, especially in honor mode. The other one that I described, not very risky to do, not even honor mode. This is a little bit risky. So if you, if you, if you, uh, you did your walk in shadows and you ran out here, it's risky because your walk in shadows will run out eventually. And you're not going to, you're not going to be able to, to get quite far enough, right? So you might as well, you might as well wait for this, um, until you can get pet pal on your ranger and can build the crafting gear to get your uh get your crafting uh to get your charisma up to level five so she's running up here to the spider queen she's running up to the spider queen here and she has pet pal and she also has seen it runs out right about here and what you're going to do is, because you have Pet Pel and you have a 5 in Charisma, you're just going to say, Gracious Queen, I apologize for my loathsome appearance and I've been wandering many days and nights. And yada yada. Charm. That's the one you want to click. And she uh, she won't fight you. So the next time you walk up to her, you can you know drop a hail attack right on her head. She won't really do anything. Oh, so that's it. And then you just run away. Run away, you're now safe to pass out here, so, you know, get out of here. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, uh, after this, is you're going to want to just run up, uh, run up a little bit further, you're going to hit the goblin, uh, goblin village. Now, if you, if, if you, if you feel confident enough that you can run past the queen, you don't even need, uh, to wait for your five, uh, in charisma and pet pal to, to get there, but I would recommend it, but... If you don't, then don't. Get your walk in shadows, zip it over to the Goblin Village. Uh, the only thing you're going to need to open it up then will be... Um, uh, will be a... Um, charisma check on the guards guarding the path, which, you know, you can just save scum that. And you will also need another uh, charisma check. Uh, rock, paper, scissors, entering the Goblin Village. Now, what's good about the Goblin Village? It's a, it's a mini village that has a lot, of, uh, a lot of crafting gear. Also good to open up early. Why? Because crafting gear, is, especially the cheap stuff, very important early on. Also, for some reason, the goblins, as well as the goblin merchant that, that you'll meet on your way up there sell tormented souls at a much higher rate than everyone else, okay? Um, opening up Sacred Stone, um, what you're going to need for that, uh, da, 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 da. this is actually, I might as well just do this here. So, right in here, in uh, Silver Glen, there is a... Uh, hatch here okay now in order to open up this area you're going to need two things you're going to need to either kill the uh, head immaculate that's right here steal his key and go in here or you're going to need a uh, lock picking of four or five i don't really know i don't really know um to unlock this doesn't really matter the reason is you can get Walgriff into your party. Uh, Walgriff, uh, you then put gear on him that gives him plus one to pickpocketing, plus one to uh, lock picking. 
he can very easily, like, at le you get him at level 4, he can very easily, with, you know, very little effort, get level 5 into pickpocketing, uh, and level 5 into lockpicking. So you put him in your party, you come over here, you pick this gate, that's all you need. So you need to pick this gate, uh, I believe you can actually pick pocket the key from the guy if you want to do that instead, or kill the guy. I would recommend just pickpocketing, or not pickpocketing, pick, lock picking, uh, this, uh, lock picking this. So, you know, typically you're going to be at around, uh, you know, you could be as early as, I would say, level 7. So, as early as level 7, you could get wall griffs, uh, lock picking high enough, you then there, pick that, you come down we here, out where it leads to. What's you that can take, lead? uh, this stuff, Hit this, hit this uh, waypoint, and then from this waypoint, from this waypoint, I don't know if I actually hit it in the video. I don't. From that waypoint, you just head directly north. Head directly north, and you've opened up Silver or uh, Sacred Stone. So we've opened up Silver Glen, we've opened up the Goblin Village, we've opened up Sacred Stone. There's only one thing left, and that is opening up Hunter's Edge. So that's the only other city left in the game we haven't opened up. Now, from Hunter's Edge... Oh! One other thing. So, other thing you need at Sacred Stone is an Immaculate's Amulet. That's why I said level 7. Why? Because at level 7, you're going to be fighting Evelyn. Evelyn has an Immaculate Amulet. So, as soon as you whack Evelyn, pick up her Immaculate Amulet, uh, uh, Walgruff easily will have high enough uh, lock picking. You then go to oh, that, you know, I described, pick it, and you're good to go to Sacred Stone. You need an Immaculate's Amulet to get into Sacred Stone. You just, you know, show them it and you're in. So level 7, you know, pretty good. So you can open up these, level 2 to 4. This is level 7. Once you open up this, um, opening up Hunter's Edge is right after that. And uh, it is actually much easier. So there is, there is Sacred Stone. So run straight north. You have your little waypoint right here. So here's your, here's your little waypoint. Here's your little waypoint. This is Sacred Stone. All you need to do is show them the Immaculate Amulet you can get in. So from here, you're just going to go down. The waypoint. I haven't even explored this area yet. This is really risk-free. Uh, you then uh, pop into the bridge. And here, young initiate. Now, a note. When you do this... The homestead will be attacked. Boop. Here you I, go. So you've now been attacked. I sense some power. Okay, so here we go. I'm only level 7, if I'm not mistaken. I am only level 7 at this point in time. You then come down. There's only one way for you to go. Don't go through the log. If you go through the log, you're going to end up dead. Literally, the... the the green mist will kill you. Head down south, hit your uh, waypoint shrine, get your beautiful experience, and then you're just going to head south from here. You're going to see a troll on a bridge. Avoid that at all costs. Probably you won't really have to expend any costs. Um, get there. Where is it? So we're still heading south. You can see this. Your screen will kick up because... There it is. And the enhanced, because the enhanced edition loves to kick you up when you get close to the edge of the map now. So you want to avoid that. You want to avoid the bridge. You're going to keep heading south here. Now you're going to run into a bunch of spiders here. So what you're going to want to do, right here, you can preemptively cast burning eyes on you to make sure that you don't run into any traps. I don't think it's going to be a deal. I cast hasten, and then I cast uh, uh, make uh, walking shadows. That'll just make you move a little bit faster, but not necessary. Run down. Uh, you don't want to go that way. <laughs> head back up. Run through the spiders. Head to the right. Head straight across. Now this is important. You head down, you're going to run into traps. You head north, you will also run into traps. So here, just so you're aware. <coughs> there can be some traps here. 
There can be some traps right here on the bridge. Or not can be. There will be some traps on the bridge. Look out! I see a trap. There it is. Trap. 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 Here they are. Just don't hit them. Uh, if you want to be uh, even safer, use your pyramid right there. Have one person run across. If they happen to hit one of the traps, resurrect them. Keep moving. Just use them as a a landmine finder. Um, at this point in time, you can, you know, find this guy, Horton, which, uh, he's your second best salesman in the game. So I, I just went over the, 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 the best salesman in the game is that guy you transported, uh, into Silver Glen. This is your second best salesman. Um, this guy's annoying only because there is no waypoint near him. There really needs to be a waypoint, like, right here. But, um, anyway. Heating up. He is your... Uh, hey, second best sure, merchant. Uh, so that's why you really want to open up this. These... This is really nice. So, I'm putting on the charisma gear. So here I go. I'm putting on the charisma gear. <clears throat> hey, you just need to, you know, pass a charisma test you there, here. Flatlander. Stay your business. <clears throat> Save it. Save your game. You know, do your load because you never know when this could happen. A six versus a two. You're... <laughs> Three times smarter than him, and he nails you. And I call bull Milwaukee on that, and I just looking for And then you come in. And here you go. You've opened up Hunter's Edge. You've opened it up. you got some uh, really good traders in here. Uh, there's one other thing that you can do, which is uh, walk over here. Down. In. Why are you doing this? Because here's your waypoint. You have to go down and into here to get to this waypoint. <coughs> now here's the problem, though. You open this area up, and you have a really annoying, really annoying uh, attack on your homestead. Now that happens. Well, you can fix that, and you can fix that as soon as you open up Hunter's Edge. You don't need to do anything, uh, you know, else. You can do it right after, and this is how you're gonna do it. Okay, you're gonna be in Hunter's Edge, right? Okay, so here we are, we're at Hunter's Edge. We're gonna come up here. Okay, so here we go, we're coming up here. This conversation will happen. By the boot soles of Bill. Another human in Hunter's Do not head. tell them your source hunters, because then they'll attack you and you're a really low level, so they'll slaughter you. you. Just tell them that you're immaculate. Then come in here, head downstairs. Go head downstairs. Which for some reason I'm not I need to dry off. Alright, so here we are. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here. You're gonna throw your pyramid on the ground. When I find it. When I find it. There it is. You're gonna throw it on the ground, then you're gonna throw it through that window. Yay! Then you're gonna use the other one, to teleport to the other side right here. Now why are we doing this? We're doing this because there's a bunch of Tenebrian weapons back here. Always, 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 always. Bless the seven, I am restored. Always. And these Tenebrian weapons are going to be used. They're going to be used in uh, fixing the attack on the homestead. And you can get these without a fight. This material. Uh, right off the bat. Boom. Grab these guys. That's fantastic. I've already mastered this material. Oh, yes. You I've probably want to make sure that you have this. this. So I'm showing you that too. So in Sacred Stone. Uh, I should have mentioned this. So in Sacred Stone. You want to go into Sacred Stone. You want to find this tomb. Okay, you don't need to fight anybody, just go into Sacred Stone, you can use Walking Shadows, uh, and, and get this tomb. Now this tomb is how to handle Tenebrium. That's what this is, okay. Ah, uh, which I almost had there, that was pretty good. Which, you know, now I can't get. But it says how to handle Tenebrium. I've already mm. mastered this. Whatever. You know what that is. So how to handle to You're going to get material. that and make sure you have it. Why? Because if you don't have that done, you're all going to get rot. And that's going to suck. But it's not going to take you anything extra. Just go into Sacred Stone, get the book, come back out, learn to And if you're too lazy to do that, 
just bring Barthador in with you. Barthador has one in Tenebrium. Just bring her in with you. Have her pick up the Tenebrium weapons. And that way nobody dies horrible death with rot. Okay. So, uh, here's your goblin village. Ah, oh, another thing that's important to know. So when you open up the goblin village right here. So there's the spider queen. Here's the spider queen up here. You're going to want to run south of the goblin village. Out of the goblin village to find the goblin village waypoint. Oh, here's the goblin village waypoint. So run out of the Goblin Village, open this up, so that way you can quick travel back to the Goblin Village whenever you want to. So here we go, we're going to travel to the Goblin Village, which we've shown how to open up in this video. You're going to travel up here. I'm showing you the path here. Now this path is important, why? Because you'll avoid the Spider Queen. Why do you want to avoid the Spider Queen? Because Jahan, ha Jahan has a thing against spiders. And uh, if you bring him in the presence of the Spider Queen, a fight will break out. And at this level, you will be slaughtered. So we're going to head north. This path I've just shown you. Because this is where the attack on the homestead is actually occurring. And you're all slow. This is also a good time to point out, in my guide, I mention... From the very beginning of the game on, look for boots that have immunity to slow as one of the qualities. It's the only uh, piece of equipment that can come with that bonus. It won't come on any other piece of equipment. Okay, Why? Because this area is a pain in the butt when you eventually have to come here uh, somewhere between levels 13 to 15 and fight all these people because you're going to be slowed and it's going to be a massive pain in the butt. So... Store those boots. You don't have to wear them. Just make sure you have at least four. If, if you can find four. If you find more than four, sell two. You know, sell down to make sure you only have four. But anyway, make sure you have four. Because this area is a pain in the butt. This is the area uh, in the guide that I talk about. This is it. Everyone's slow. It's just a pain. I can tell you if you would. And so let the... Anyway, so this is where you want to go. Right here. You don't have to fight anybody. There's a path, like I've described, shown, to get to here without fighting. Without fighting. Now, here's where the homestead attack is. I'm not sure if Zizax shows up again. Okay, so Zizax doesn't even show up again. Okay, uh, if you show up here without the attack, the attack will then start as soon as you step foot here. Zizax will explain there's three different ways. This way right here, um, the left. We'll run you through Immaculate. You'll have to uh, do a fight um, or pass a uh, speech check, and then you'll still have to do a fight or do Walk in Shadows. So this is your, you know, I would say one of your more risky routes. The far right is uh, Elemental, so you're going to have to do, uh, you know, Tornadoes to get rid of the Lava and, and or... Hover feet, etc., etc. The one up the middle has all the demons. It's the most dangerous. Ironically, it's the way you're gonna go because see. And now I'm showing you here. I have the, I have the rings, right? Step. You are treading the ground of immaculates. Be gone from here. March. You can save. Eight to five. You lost. Oh, that sucked. I'm gonna load. I'm just going to show you, you know, the one way. But this, this is not the way you want to go. Wow. So here I go again. I've lost twice in a row. This is exactly why, this is exactly why everyone says the most annoying part of the game is rock, paper, scissors. But at least I'm showing you. So, eight, seven, oh, six. Uh, uh, no need to call in. And there you go. So, just ignore this path. Uh, until later, you can come back here later, and you should, even after you've convinced them to not fight you, you should come back here and slaughter them. Okay, so right here, separate your guy. Guess what? Walk in shadows again. There seems to be a pattern developing. So anyway, use walk in shadows. Just run past these demons. Uh, demons and you know I cut this I cut this kind of close um, <clears throat> If you don't want to cut it close uh, Do your fast track 
and then do walk in shadows, you'll move a little bit faster. If I cut a little bit close, right about here, I, I, I run out. I go into sneak just in case, but I, I'm pretty well out. Kind of, kind of close. So you get back here. You've done it. You found the massive bloodstone. How many souls were sacrificed to create a bloodstone? Now, how do you kill this? There's only one way to kill it: with a tenebrium weapon, like this fine-tipped tenebrium spear, or this tenebrium hammer, etc., etc. You don't even care about the extra AP it takes to use it because they're out of battle. Right? And there you go. Whack this bad boy. And the attack on your homestead is done. Boom! Yay! Hi, but you given the excellent And there you go. So um so what are we talking about here? Level seven. Level seven. So by level seven, uh you can uh get an immaculate amulet. Get yourself over here to Sacred Stone. Um, learn how to handle Tenebrium. Head to Hunter's Edge. Fix the uh, attack on Homestead. You've had e have every place on the map open up. Every place. Silver Glen, Goblin Village, Sacred Stone, Hunter's Edge. All of them open. Um, and you only have to be level 7. Only have to be level 7. So I hope this helped. I hope you do this. Because a lot of people complain about being stuck in Seal for... For too long in the game, you you as I've shown in my other video, you can get all of the the crap work done in Seal done in about an hour, about an hour. And if you have two people doing it, you can get it done in about a half an hour if you just blow through it. So it's really shouldn't be that big a deal. And then post that, you can open up all these areas uh, by level seven, by level seven. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this made it easy. I hope you can. Uh, feel more comfortable running from place to place. If you have any questions, just let me know as always. And we'll be moving on to the next video. Thanks for watching.